Right, welcome back to the new part of my channel. This is for the Airsoft as Operators box, which I've got to thank Joe from AOB, known for short, for sending me this. It is October's Operators box, or Airsoft as Operator box, call it whatever you want. AOB for short, as I said. Now, what I do have here is a couple of pouches of coffee from the last Operators box, which was is the Greenberry Commando and the Greenberry Mercenary coffee. They are about 25 gram pouches, which are about six cups and a percolator, which I do have one brew just now, so we'll be putting a jump cut into when that's ready. <coughs> now, we've already, well, I've already drank the Mercenary one, the Greenberry Mercenary. It was really quite strong, but really quite nice. Even though I didn't make a slight mistake, I poured the whole pouch into a four cup percolator instead of a six cup one. But even at that, it was really nice, really strong. I would definitely be buying that again. Uh, now tonight, what I'm going to be drinking tonight during doing this box is the Greenberry Commando coffee, which I've not tried as yet, so that'll be interesting. You'll get to see my reaction to that on camera. I'm hope if it's anything like the Mercenary, it is going to be lovely. I'm really looking forward to that. Now, as for the box itself, as you can see, it's still completely in its packaging. It's not open anywhere. Uh, all I've done is blanked out the addresses on the front of it, so nobody gets my address or his phone numbers or anything like that. But if you're interested after seeing this and ordering an op Airsofters Operators box, I will leave a link to their Facebook page in the description below. So, we're going to put in a jump cut here, I'll be back with my coffee in a minute, and we will get on with opening this up. See you in a second. Right, back. Coffee's here. And of course, got an airsoft mug. What else do you expect from an airsoft channel, eh? <laughs> right. Verdict on the coffee. It's not as strong as the other one, but again, I'm not putting six cups worth of coffee into a four cup percolator and expect it to be the same. I've measured it out this time, I've done it properly. Eh, it's really quite nice. I would buy it again, but personally, to do with it being a wee bit stronger. Now, I can't remember if I've already said this or not, because I'd just jump cut in to go and make the coffee, but like I said, the Airsofters Operator box, which is what I've got in front of me, is £40 a month, 4 to 0. I'm not sure what that works out into dollars and the like, but I'm sure someone will be able to tell you. I will put a link to the Facebook page in the description, so please go check them out. If you like what you've seen in this video, and hopefully upcoming videos, over the next few months. I mean, you get one box per month and I'm going to try and get one every month. Then subscribe to it. They do worldwide shipping as far as I'm aware. Any questions, go to the Facebook page and please ask. Now, let's go on with unboxing. As I make a fool of getting my knife out. Ah! Never mind. Right, let's see. Let's see. And my knife is going blunt. What? Why is it you put a knife in storage it goes blunt, eh? Got it. Tear it open. Act as if it's Christmas! Ah, right, put that away now. We don't need a knife anymore. Right. So, obviously we've just got the bag. Don't need that anymore. Not over there just now, we'll put that away. And inside the bag, you have the box. Right, let's open this up towards the camera, shall we? Uh, there we go. I'm struggling to get it open that. Right. So, obviously we've got your paperwork on the top here. I'm sorry, you probably can't see me anymore. Uh, that's the same on the top. Big bold red letters. Documents enclosed. Now, I will admit, as I pull this off, I have had the box sitting for a few days because for personal reasons I'm not being able to put it. We'll set it aside, we'll come back to that. But here we are. I've, like I said, I've not actually opened this at all yet. So you are going to get to see what's in it, same as me. Right, so obviously the documents in the top and then we've got paper wrapping. Right, so let's open that. And we'll do that. And that's what it looks like inside. 
Uh, I'm not sure how well you can actually see that. Hopefully you can see it all right like that. But, let's get one. Right, so, first thing that jumps out to admit is a bottle of 3000.25 6mm BBs by the Draft Club. Now, these are 0.25, that's brilliant for me because that's why I run on a normal game day is 0.25s. Uh, and it tells you on the side, available in 6mm, yada yada yada. Yellow tops 0.2 grams, orange tops 0.25s, which is what we've got here. Red tops 0.28 grams, and green tops 0.3 grams. Uh, they're also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, which... Speak of which, I will try and link my Instagram below. I didn't realise that bottle was casting such a shadow over my face. You can't see it because I have a light there. Uh, so, yeah, that's quite good straight off the bat. Nice bottle of BBs to keep us going. And then, something that never goes wrong in this house is coffee. Caffeinated violence. 100% washed and polished. Slow roasted rainforest line special there have been beans from Vietnam. Dedicated to the men and women who face valor on our behalf. Right, well we'll be keeping that put a by and we'll probably use that for the next box as well. That nice big pouch of coffee, how much is on that? 250 grand oh no wait. I was gonna say 250 grams there, but it tells you it's 250 grams, 500 grams or one kilo. Right, let's see, is there anything else on it? But I can see that actually declares how heavy it is. We very well might weigh that and come back at the end. So a nice big pouch of coffee. Then we've got some nice patches here, which will be going on the patch wall up there. The chair softer show. I'll do. Suits me half the time. <laughs> I will get a better view of all this on the camera for the end. Probably a few pictures added in. And then you've got an AO, AOB patch, well an AOB squadron patch, obviously stands for the Airsoft Operator's Box, that, that'll go on the wall as well. That's one I've actually already got, which is actually a really handy tool, it's a survival tool for your wallet. I've got one and they are actually really handy to have. I mean I carry one of these rounds anyway, I mean... I don't, again, I don't know how well the camera will pick that up. I've had to put the camera quite far away because I've only got a handheld camcorder at the moment. So I hope the sound's coming out alright on this. As well as a few other things. Now that's... Let's say I've already got one of these and they never go wrong. I mean, there's a knife on it, there's a bottle opener, tin opener, wire stripper, small ruler on it. Call it what you want. You know... Wee bit for Allen keys. I've, believe it or not, there's a couple of screwdrivers on it as well. I've used these before. And I do carry one on my person's most times in my wallet. And you'd be surprised how often these actually come in, come in use. You really would be. I mean, just for argument's sake, I've got a dash camera in my car. I'm sorry for the shadows. I'll need to rethink the lighting for next time. I do apologise for that. To be fair, I've got a dash cam in my car, I had to move it the other day when I went to tighten up one of the nuts on it, the grip on it, pretty to actually tighten it, broke, leaving the Allen bolt exposed. Now the only way I could tighten that up properly is I had to get my survival tool out my wallet, because I was away from home, and because it was an Allen bolt, just here on, the, here on it, I hope you can see them alright, let's I'll get pictures, I had to get that out of my wallet and I just slid it on and managed to tighten up the bolt to get the camera set, set perfect. That, so that is a star, star thing to get. Top marks for that. So I'll put that there. That is, I'm really, really surprised at that. Uh, what have we got here? And then we've got a pack of hand warmers. Little hotties. Uh, one pair. Pure heat lasts for 8 hours apparently, that's what it says on the back. Open it, remove the pouch from the plastic waterproof. Open it, remove the pouch from the pla plastic wrapper. Do not open the, the cloth pouch. Shake it, mix and activate contents for a couple of seconds. 
stuff it, place little hotties in a enclosed area such as a jacket pocket or gloves, yada yada yada, you get the idea, they're hand warmers which is perfect again, I've got a game coming up in the beginning of December, uh, Scotland v England, uh, it's an airsoft match at Catterick Garrison, it's one of the bigger ones to go to, and it can be very cool, like, well, I've seen all sorts of weather there from being relatively warm for being December in the UK to freezing cold where there's snow on the ground, that could come in extremely handy for that because, let's face it, when we play airsoft in the winter or when there's snow, we do get cold hands <laughs> and hand warmers are always handy, so they'll probably get used to that and I, pro I should be running my GoPro at that so there should be footage as well, so hopefully you all get some footage of that and I'll do the let you know how the hand warmers get on there. Now there is something in the box I'm going to keep for last. That looks really quite interesting. Now there's a spork, a large, light knife fire. Now we all know what a spork is, don't we? We all know what one is. This is quite a big one. Again, I've got cataract coming up, so <laughs> we need to pack for that. And I very well might take this with me. You know, as you can see, it's quite big, it's really quite long. Now, you've got your spoon, fork, knife, what do you expect on a spork? I mean, it seems to be sort of flexible plastic, again, really quite good. Made by a company like My Fire. So, again, I'll take that to Catrick with me. I'm not sure how comfortable it'll be to eat with, but I'm sure we will find out. Put that back in the box for just now. Inside there. I don't actually you can see what I'm putting down here on camera, but it's one there. Uh, I think this is the last thing, which is what I was saying I'd keep for last, because it's really caught my eye. Ultra bright flashlight series, Creed light, or Cree light, sorry, not Creed, Creed's, from, from the Rocky films, Apollo Creed, or from the Creed films. <laughs> and it's quite tight to get open, or not, it'd help if I hadn't done all the catches, wouldn't it? There we go. There we go. Oh, this is really quite smart. I mean, we seem to have a CR123 battery, ultra fire. Is that a CR? Not a CR, it's an 18650. That's what I meant, not CR. CR are the wee ones. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Ah, I've just realised something. This could become more handy than you think. Thank you very much, Joe. I'll explain why in a moment. Oh, just discharge, no memory effect, da 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 da. I'm presuming that's going to be rechargeable. I'm guessing that is. Oh, Christ. I've just flung it straight through the tube. I thought it was a. In case I thought you'd slide it in and sit like that. Doesn't it? An actual sleeve for it. I don't know if you can see that. But the reason why I'm saying that is going to be very handy is. I'm going to show you just now. Is. You've got a battery charger here, a just a small transportable plug-in charger, which is absolute. Which oh, I'm trying, that just I'll say like that. You know, it's not too big. And the reason why I'm saying that is brilliant is it actually vape as well. And a lot of vaporizers sat there run off eighteen six fifty batteries as well. And, I'm sitting doing this, I don't have one to hand right this moment. So, having a small, an easy to move, oh, excuse me, barking, but an easy to transport battery charger for me is brilliant. I have been looking at them in my local vape shop, but I just haven't got around to buying one yet. So, that is top notch. So, there you go. If you actually vape as well, you've got a wee single battery charger, which... Let's face it, if you run a mech mode or something like that, it's going to do you brilliant, but this isn't a vape review. <laughs> and you've got the Ultra Fire, Ultra Fire Light, which is quite big, it's got a big LED bulb there, it's got a zoom function on it. Now I'm just reading it as I see it on the torch, in and out, five mirrors, da 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 da, it's one operated, I've just done that without even thinking there could have been a battery in that. Now, let's just see, hopefully this has got, this battery's got a wee bit of a charge in it. 
Well, that's quite smart as well. It actually comes with a, a converter for you to use. Sorry, there's a wee bit of lubricant up on the end of the dead there. It comes with a converter for you to use AAA batteries as well. So that's quite handy to have. Let's see if this has got some charge in it. That way goes. I should have looked at the way the other one came out. But never mind, we'll try it that way. And no, it must be the other way. Turn it around, turn it around. So then I'll just do it off camera quickly. See that? Oh no, it does have charge in it. It does have charge. Turn it off just now. <laughs> My dog's now pinned to the corridor wall. So as you can see, that is really quite bright. And with the zoom function, hey, we can zoom in and see. And that is, I'm quite impressed with that. And I'm quite happy. That's again, that's going to come in use. Now let's just have a wee look. That ah, can't see anything under the paper wrap. That's perfect. Now the reason why I quite like this is we've got a poppy appeal here. Ah, right. Time for the. Oh no! Wait, there's something else there. It's a. Uh, the Tactical Coffee Company, a sticker for them. Yeah, another sticker. <laughs> I like putting stickers on things. Oh no, there's more stickers here as well. And they're Airsofter Operator Box stickers. Yeah, yeah, I like stickers. I do, I'm sad that way, I like stickers. Right, let's see if there's any more. Right, and this one we've got a... Uh, Poppy Appeal here, the Royal British Poppy Appeal, or not, the Royal British Legion Poppy Appeal. Hmm, let's get it right. Hello and thank you for purchase, purchasing the Octo October Airsofters Operator Box. We aim, we aim to use the UK manufacturer as much as possible, where we can find veteran run businesses in the UK that produce an item that could be airsoft related. We all seek into seek to include, include them in boxes. This month we are donating 10% of our profits to the Royal British Legion's Poppy Appeal. I'm sorry I'm not very good at reading. The Poppy Appeal is the Royal British Legion's biggest fundraising campaign held every year in November, the period of remembrance. This year join us as we mark the end of World War One. End of the World War I century by saying thank you to all who served and sacrificed and changed our world. We pride ourselves on communication with our followers, so if there's any product you'd like to see it included in a future box, contact us on our social media and we will look into it. Please note, only one of the drinks products included either tea or coffee. So what's in the box? That has been a common question. Well, you can see what was in this box, and something I will say is, in every box,